If you want to get Minecraft mods, you're probably going to want Forge. Forge is the most popular mod loader out there, and it allows you to get awesome mods like Biomes of Plenty, Optifine, and things like Just Enough Items, as well as thousands of other amazing popular Minecraft mods. In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know to get Forge, starting off with downloading it. So go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text guide to getting Forge that goes over different issues you may have and all of that stuff. We're going to be covering some of these in this video, but not everything. For example, exit code 1, exit code 0, all of this stuff is covered in this article, but we can't really go over all that in the video. Nevertheless, once you're here, go and click on the yellow download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. On this page, you want to make sure Minecraft 1.20.1 is selected. It's not by default right now, so you want to go to the left-hand side, click on 1.20, and then select 1.20.1. Once you see MC 1.20.1 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. When you do that, you'll take, be taken off to Add Focus, where stop, don't click anything on this page at all. Just wait about 10 seconds. Just put your hands in the air, wait about 10 seconds. Then after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear up here in the top right. Go ahead and click that skip button in the top right, and in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. As long as Forge is in the title, as you can see it is for us, Forge 1.20.1, you are good to keep or save it. Now before we install Forge, we do have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own modded Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, not only can you install a modded server, you can also easily add mod packs to your server with just a few clicks. So if you want a mod pack, it's super easy to get it and you can even add plugins things like that to your server and even just have a simple vanilla server with no mods the choice is up to you your server can be public and private it's up 24 7 and if you need any assistance we have a high quality knowledge base and live chat support to help you out so go check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your very own minecraft server the simple way nevertheless we've got forge downloaded let's go ahead and minimize our browser here and what we want to do is move forge to our desktop let's go ahead and click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen from the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working in Windows 11. Search for Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. And then in here, you will have Forge. As you can see, Forge 1.20.1. Drag and drop this to your desktop. With Forge on your desktop, what we want to do is go ahead and install Forge. So right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, what you need is Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and obviously that's what we're working on getting here. This is an in-depth guide that goes over everything, even potential issues, so go check it out to get Java up and running. You may also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and get Forge installed. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Mod System Installer for Forge, where all we want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It's now going to download and install Forge. The only reason this wouldn't work is if one, Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. If that's the case, close out of both of those, reopen up Forge, and then click Install. In other cases, you may get a warning saying that basically Forge can't install because it can't find Minecraft 1.20.1. If that's the case, go play Minecraft Vanilla. No mods, no anything, 1.20.1, and then close out of that, then come back, install Forge, and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, as you can see, successful install client profile, Forge for version 1.20.1. .1. Click OK, and it will close out of that. You can now delete Forge from your desktop. Now, if we go ahead and we open up the Minecraft launcher, we will be able to see that there is a Forge installation. Now, you should have a Forge installation, and if you do, awesome, you can go ahead and play Minecraft with Forge. But if you don't have a Forge installation, I'm going to go through how to get one and make sure everything is up and running correctly for you because you never want to get to the point where you get here and you still don't have Forge. Now, as you can see for us, we do have Forge. Right there it is. It says 1.20.1-Forge. If you've got that, maybe you have to click this drop down here to select it. But once you've got that, click play, click play again. But if you don't have this here, click on installations. Then you want to make sure modded is selected. As you can see, I unchecked modded there. Forge disappeared. Check modded. There it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or the 1.20.1 version of Forge, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the best place to start your very own Minecraft server. For the version drop down box here, this is the important part. You want to make sure you select release 1.20.1 Forge. So as you can see, right there it is. I'm also going to change my resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game. But nevertheless, with our release selected as 121 Forge, go ahead and click create. And now we can play Minecraft, either using the Forge installation that was already there or the one that you created depending on which you have you may need to click play on a confirmation window there i wish i'd 
skip, hadn't skipped over that so fast, but that's just saying, hey, you're playing modded Minecraft, that's perfectly normal to get that. Nevertheless, as you can see, we are now loading up Minecraft, and once we're on the main menu, we can go ahead and see that this is Forge. Not only does it say Forge in the bottom left, we've got this Mods button. And this is actually a very important thing, because any Forge mods you install and are activated will show up here. You can also install mods using this. So go ahead and you would click on Mods, and then Open Mods folder, and then drag and drop any mods you want to install into this Mods folder. Once you've done that, you will need to restart Minecraft with Forge in order to get the mods activated. With that being said, we do have an in-depth and complete guide in the description down below on everything you need to know to get 1.20.1 Forge mods. So if you're struggling with that, you want to make sure you're getting the correct versions of mods, or if you're having issues with the mods, go check out that video because it's in the description. You may also be interested in checking out this video, which is the How to Fix Broken Minecraft Mods. It goes over everything, troubleshooting of over 18 minutes, just how to fix Minecraft mods. That's what it covers. It covers every single thing you need to know about fixing Minecraft mods. And uh, someone in the uh, description there timestamped it for us. Back when we made this, I don't think it was two years ago. Timestamps really didn't work. But nevertheless, now you can go through and go through all the different potential issues and all those potential solutions for Minecraft mods. Nevertheless, as I said, if you want to install mods to go more in depth, we have this guy in the description. But we'll see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.